Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to do the gray and orange look in Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, my new vlog video is out where I will tell you why I'm switching over to Canon now. Also, I take you with me on a photo shoot and show you some new gear. Okay, let's get started with this tutorial. So. The gray and orange look is really nice and I combined several different photos for you to show you how effective it is and that it works with any kind of picture you can find. You go up here to adjustments there and then you go to HSL. Now the important part here is when you see this window you have these points here for the color settings. Select for example a blue one and you want to have these anchor points move them to the area where they touch the orange and red regions. Move this other handle point also over like that but keep a distance so there is a smooth fading between them. That's pretty important. Now we go on the other sides, move that over and then also move this in here. And so basically now what we're doing is that we are desaturating it and you can see how this effectively removes all of the colors in the picture and just keeps the orange tones. Now if there is something left in there that you don't want to have you can still adjust these points that's pretty important. Um, but don't go too rough because then you maybe get these little islands as you can see here for example you might be left with these little islands in here because there might be some uh, tones in there that are orange that are part of your picture. I would rather go in there afterwards with a brush and adjust that. Now the next one I want to suggest to you makes it really easy to adjust these orange tones to bring them together in a nicer way and that is to go up here to layer, new fill layer like that and then you want to select a nice warm brown tone. You go up here, this is the fill color and go here and select from these tones a nice orange tone, make it a little bit darker and actually the brightness doesn't have anything to do with this effect but it helps from the feeling, from the taste when you look at it in that way that you see that nice brown that you get a certain feeling of what kind of brown it is to really select that color that you want to have in there, for example like this one and then what you're going to do is you set the blend mode to hue. Down here on the blend modes go to hue and you can see that this now brings all of the different color tones together. Look at the legs for example here of these rugby players, it has a little bit of green in there. Now if I turn this on this has a nice orange look. So all of these values now are recolored to have this kind of nice taste here. So that is very very easy. Now here's another step we want to do or I would suggest you do is to remove these areas. This is also very simple. The only thing you need to do for that is to make another HSL adjustment and set the saturation to minus 100 so everything is black and white. Then you go up here to layer and invert and then you simply take your brush, opacity 100% and size hardness, you can set that up to taste, set the color to white and simply brush out the areas that you don't need that you want to have gray or basically black and white. I can see here I can clean this up really easily. There are some areas where I think well that's maybe a little bit too much. I don't want to have that in my picture and then you can simply clean that up and give it exactly the look that you want to have from your design, from your picture. Another thing I would suggest you do is to go to adjustments, create a curve and then push this up to taste basically. You can go up as this high, maybe push this down a little bit so you also reduce the brightness and you can then go in here, move this up, uh, move this down a tiny little bit, move this up a tiny little bit so we get a little bit more contrast back and this simply makes the image a bit softer. If you look down here, this is without the curve 
and this is with the curve but this is completely up to taste so you can see this is a very easy to create look but you can now see between these pictures that have been so different before how we bring them together how we have a consistency in the look for example to have consistency in your Instagram or on your website stuff like that this is a very nice tool for that so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial leave a comment of the looks you want to see in future tutorials and if you like my style maybe subscribe to my channel thank you very much and see you soon bye